Hello my smashing lot, it's Mega Gran here again with another episode of building a Minecraft zoo on Vintage Beef's Zawa server. Now then, we've got some naming to do today. Two lots of naming actually. And the first names are going to be given to the orangutans. <laughs> oh yes, I can hear you. <laughs> so let's go and see what they are up to. Here we are. Now then, I think we'll go in here. <laughs> I need my book. Uh, don't need that one. Um, don't need those just now. Right. Uh, let's pop these in so they don't get out. Who is it? There. Oh no, that's not very good, is it? Let me just put any blocks in there. And I haven't even got any blocks. Shall I put this? Let me put this down in there. Because I don't think we'll be able to get through <laughs> one block. Would they? Would they? Would they? Okay, let's just put that on as well. Now, they can't get out now, can they? So, we need to look and see who is who. So, um... Oh, I don't know what I've got those still in there for. Uh, there's Batang and Bonnie. So, whichever the next one is, it'll have one of those names. Hello. Oh, you're in the you're in the grass and I can't not in the glass. You're in the palm tree and I can't get you. Come on, come on, come out. Can you come out? Come on out. No. No. Okay, we'll see if you can move while I'm doing the others. Let's have a look. Where are the others? Somebody here, look. Grapefruit female. So you can be Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> Orange female. So you can be Luce. Right. Right. So you must be your lemon male. I didn't do these properly, didn't I? Yes, lemon Sumatran and he's a male. Okay then. So you are going to be Kiko. And you over here are going to be Batang. Why aren't you over there with the others? Have they sent you to Conventry? Have you been naughty or something? Eh? I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't get to you. Come on. Come on out here. Come on. Come on over here. There you go. There you go. Batang. And I must thank Star Nanny for all those names. I think they're really good names and I really enjoyed naming them. So I'll just get that glass back in there. And there we are. They're named now. I hope they all get together, though. I hope they're not going to stay separated. We've got these three here. Look at you all. All together in a little club. And where's poor Batang? You've left him out. What's he done? Have you had an argument or something? Well, you need to resolve your differences and all start playing together. I don't know. What you like? Now, I just have another four names to give, and they are for the dwarf crocodiles. Whoa! Nearly fell down that hole then. Um, I'm going to have to tranquilize them, do you think? I don't know. Should I just go in and name them all? Shall I just go in and name them all? I'm going the wrong way. Okay, shall we go in and name them all? Whether they're male or female, we'll just name them. Yeah? I'm sure you wouldn't you you're not gonna mind, are they? Are you? Uh let me see. Here we go. And these were Star Nanny's suggestions as well. Well, not all of them. One Marte. That came from Bubbleberries. Thank you, Bubbleberry, for that suggestion. And the other three came from Star Nanny. Very much appreciated, Star Nanny. Let's see if I can get in there. Uh, without killing myself and just name all these. Whoa! Here we go. There's one there, look. Hello! Tagged Marte. Uh, where's the other one? This is another one here. Tagged Pearl. Uh, one round here. Tagged Jaws. And one more. The other one here. Tagged Smiley. Nice. Oh, where's my uh, before they come and attack me? Come here. 
There we go. Got them all. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. They're all named now. Thank you ever so much for that. Very much appreciated. Did I leave a shulker box down here or did I have it in my inventory? No, they're both there, I think. I don't... Oh, I did. I did. Look. Forgetting already. Oh, not that. This one. Nice. Now then, even though it's terrible weather, I'm going to carry on with the next exhibit, which is going to be... Oh, it's chicken. It's going to be down here in this little space here. And it's going to be for this little chappy here. Oh. Oh. Is that an entity clear? That was different. You usually get a countdown and a ping. Never mind. Anyway, what I'd like to do is to have a small enclosure just on this side here, in this space here. And I'm thinking I could fit in the giant anteater. So I'm going to do a little bit of digging and see what size hole I can make. So let's get these out. Let's pop this there. And get my shovel out, or one of my shovels. I don't think they need a lot of space to their anteaters. So I'm going to fit it in over here uh, they'll probably find it a little bit noisy a little bit noisy where these um whoops it is uh, where these koalas are because the koalas are a little bit noisy but i think i'd like a giant anteater to go in here uh put too many in there 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 we go, and I'd like it to come round here. Uh, it can come out a little bit more this way. Oh, my goodness me. Archaeology rank three unlocked. That nearly killed me. It really did. Oh, that tag snail still on the move again. Wonder where he'll be next time we see him. Right, stop me if I go past it, which I probably will. Oh, there, there. Okay, then. Oh, my goodness, have I got to pronounce this word? How do I pronounce that? Myrmecophagia. Myrmecophagia, tridactyla. Sounds like a dinosaur, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Defensive, insectivore, kibble, medium, slow, insectivore, leaf cutter, and... Leaf cut rounds. I didn't know we had that in the game. Um, rarity 8, group size 1, mammal, vulnerable. It's absolutely strange animal, has lots of quirks, but a lovably goofy face and endearingly unique appearance. Giant anteaters have no teeth. A two foot long tongue they use to slurp up ants and giant bear like claws they use to break open insect mounds or predators. Jaguars as well as humans often underestimate the anteater and may even be killed. Ooh, so we need to be careful. But we are going to be because we quite like the giant anteater. Now, when I looked this up in the wiki, because it didn't have anything about habitat in the notebook, um, it said that they spawn in plains, savannah, savannah plateau, sunflower plains, badlands and badlands plateaus. And with a great array of types of biomes, like enchanted groves, meadows, flowery meadows, orchards and all the rest of it. So I'm just going to put together something that looks nice. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a little hide as well, so it can go in and get out of the rain. So that'll be good. Right, so now we want this. So I'm going to go down another few, I think. Well, just another one, I suppose, really. Now, what are we going to use for the walls? I think if it's going to be dry, don't think I want to do another sandy one. I did sand with the banded penguins, so I'm fed up with sand. Um, what shall we use in here, though? Um, is that low enough? If I'm going to fill this one in, let's have a look. Let's have a look from the outside. So this edging piece is going to be changed. This is going to be changed. This one here. Is that a good... Yeah, 
I think, I, yeah, I think this deep is okay. So we want to get an, rid of another layer because we're going to be putting, um, we're going to be putting the bottom layer in this space here that we're creating now. And I think the anteater should be all right with um, water. Ooh, some pre-iron. I think I'll have that. Thank you very much. So this is going to be my black palette. I always like to start with a black palette because that helps me visualise things and then do them. So let's get this on here. There we go. Now then, what we're going to have for these walls. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I want for the walls. What about my grey palette? I could put that on the walls. And if I have a lot of colourful flowers in it, then the walls won't detract from the flowers. You'll see all the colours. There we go. Right, so on these walls, we're going to have a combination of these here. I just want to have a quick look in the mason's table and see what we can make of this andesite. Because I think the andesite might look nice as a border around the edge with whatever I'm going to use on top for a barrier. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, let me see. Mason's table. There we are. Let's pop this down here. Right, let's have a look. Now then. Oh, so many. It's hard to choose. Oh, I think I've used this one before. Maybe on the Kakapo egg enclosure over there. Let's have a look what this looks like for edging. Oh, I've taken that bottom part off now, so... Uh, let me see. I quite like that. I quite like that. That's not too bad at all. Let's see what that looks like all the way around. Oh, just not quite enough. Okay, let me just get another few blocks out of here. Let's have a look. Put that in there. Uh, oh, which one was it? Which one was it? Uh, was it that one? Uh, was it that one? I think it was that one. Let's have a look at that one. Right, that's not looking too bad. Oh! Oh! Oh, I like that one better, actually. That is quite nice. I like how it sort of, like, joins up. Let's put that back in there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I like that one. So that's, what number's that? That's number two. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to change that for this. They'll all have to come off again. What did I have on before? I had 13. I want number two. That's what I want. Number two. Right, let's get on here. Let's pop these in there. And let's go number two. So I think... Should I have enough with those? Let's just do a few more extra. And let's start that again, shall we? Right, all the way around. Look at that. I love it. There we go. That's better. Look at that. I really like that. I don't know why I haven't seen that before. Obviously, it didn't look very well, did I? So, the rest is going to be... Um, it's going to be a mix of these. I think a border, a plain border, when you're having sort of quite a colourful exhibit, sort of um, is quite good because it doesn't take away from the exhibit then. So that's that's quite nice. So we'll have some of this. Oh, we want some uh, cobble in there as well, don't we? Have we got some cobble in here? I'm not quite sure. We got cobble, 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 cobble. No, we haven't got any cobble. So let's have a look. We have got cobble here somewhere. There's cobble. We've got quite a lot of it as well. So is that all cobble? Yeah, that's all cobble. Right. Uh, let's get it. It's only over there. I could have walked over, but you know, what can I say? Uh, don't like this. Did I miss putting one in? Have I got one left? I've just got two left, so I can put one in here. Do I put it on that side or do I put it on this side? Methinks we'll have it on that side. No, that is the wrong one, totally. Did I not have any left? That other one. Oh, there, look. There. Okay. That's better. Love it. Love it. Just random. Random. 
that can come out there. Random. There we go. And then we'll put some of these in. Pop this in here. Gravel. These can only go on top of blocks or on the bottom because they'll slide down if you put them anywhere else, won't they? So we'll put some of these up here. Have we got any spaces for this cobble? I think we have. There. Actually, I must have changed that there. This is, is not in either, is it? That's not very good, is it? Let's have some cobble there and some gravel there. Oh, I put these in as well, didn't I? Let's have that there and uh, that there. No, we don't want two together. Let's change this one to maybe that. And this again another one there uh, there we go oh just a minute mm, that one there another one here look made another mistake here put that one there and that one there another one another one that one and that one there oh dear one there uh, that one there uh, some cobble here some cobble there uh, no, I'm right. Over here it's because I when I went on top uh, let's have this one here that one okay because I made these these are extra ones you see so I didn't see these down there what a plonker. Never mind. That will do. And then maybe there's a couple of these. One there. Play in one. Maybe that in there. This one in here. Uh, play in one there. And one of these on top there. Right. I quite like that. I quite like that a lot. That needs to be grass there. Whoa. Let's try there. Okay. Oh, look what I didn't do. I didn't do the mossy cobble. Those have got to go in somewhere. So let's just go back and have a look and see if we've got too many things the same in a similar area. I'm going to put these down. Um, I don't know because... Oh, shall I tell you what? I'll put them there. Uh, there. That's all right, isn't it? Can we have some more? Another one? Maybe... Maybe there. Right, so this is my pond bit's going to be down this end, and I think I'd like uh, I'd like um, let me start this in the ground over here. Uh, I think down this end here. Let's have a look. Oh, why did that turn round? I'm not entirely sure, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted it like a log, so that's better. That's better. Can I have another one? Right here. And then um, maybe let's get me. Whoa, that went down a bit too far. Uh, let's just put those in as soon as I've got them in my inventory. There, like that. And I think I'd like now, I'd like to have. Uh, couple of those there and a couple there that's it and then I think I'd like let's have a look I'd like I'd like some more across here but I'd also like to have um Thing here uh, like this and up here like this Let's have that there mm -hmm. uh, want these to be sort of like not the same oh just put that the same haven't I could I put that on that way then set this one maybe is this way 
Uh, that way. How's that look? Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. This way. That's it. And this one. That's alright. This one. Must be this way. That's it. I think they'll be able to get up there okay. And I'll have that one that way. Uh, that one that way. And there. Like that. That's... Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So over here, I want something interesting. Hmm, what can I put here? Let me have a little play and see what I can come up with. Right, so just a little bit of rocky something in the middle. Nothing in particular. But just something that breaks up the wood over there. Which of course will have lots of ants in and around it for the anteaters to eat. And here is going to be where I'm going to put a little tiny, teeny weeny pond. I think there should be enough room for one here. Uh, I think I'm going to take this off and this off because I'm a bit worried that they might get trapped on that side not being able to get out. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put me coarse dirt in there. I think I might have to put some gravel in though to get the reeds in and the cattails. So I might have to place one or two of those. Uh, take that off as well. I'm just filling the pond now and that didn't take very long because it's only tiny. So that's alright. Like that. Just a bit of coarse dirt around the edges. And I might sprinkle this a little bit of coarse dirt all around the exhibit because they ferry it about, don't they? Anteaters. Therefore, they will dig up a lot of the grass. So... Right. Oh, I need to think about those hides and where I'm going to put them. There we go. That's a little hide. There. Can we put another... Uh... Oh, I think that's... And that'll be alright. I'm going to put some leaves and stuff in there as well. So we've got that there. And then maybe another one over here somewhere. Um, where should we put another one? Don't it to be opposite over there? Maybe he... Maybe... Let's have a look. Maybe... Maybe here. That, that would be a good place, I think, to have one. That there. That there. And shall we have that back there? Maybe... Or shall we have that? If we have that, we're going to need something else there. And something else there. So what about that? Mm-hmm. Need a little bit more variety on the floor, I think. Maybe a bit of that there. And over here, maybe another one of those. There. How about that? Now then, I can't remember if... Can I put the cattails and the reeds on coarse dirt? No, I can't. Was it the gravel? I bet it was the gravel, wasn't it? Right, so I'm going to put one there, and I'm sure that's it. I'm going to put one over there, and that's going to be the cattail. There. Whoa, I've fallen in. Now I'm going to put uh, these here. There we go. Nice. And then I want to spread some flowers about. Now I forgot you can't put leaves on blocks like stone so I've had to change that to coarse dirt and I'll put another one there and a few more of these around I think and I might even put a leaf block in there and another one in there Daisy. One of these just there. Oh, that's no good. Come here. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Put a flower on there. That's all right. Have a look. And 
Genau hier. That's it. Quite a bigger anteaters. You're not gonna you're not gonna uh, lose them in there, are you? Now, even though I'm not taming them, I'm gonna put some enhancements or enrichments in there. I'm gonna put heat lamps into each of the little hides or burrows. Don't mind the dirt being up there because if they burrowed down, it, they would be covered in dirt, wouldn't they? So I don't mind that. Although I might find some roots, if I can, to hang down from the ceiling. I should be able to find some, I think, if there's any in this version. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I need to get rid of that button. There we go. And that'll give it a little bit of light in there, so. And I'm gonna put two scratching posts in as well. Uh, I'll put one this side. Where can I put this? Should I put it on one of these? Um, oh, where shall I put it? There, one will go there. That was a big decision. I need another big decision for this other one. Let's have a look. Oh dear. I'll put the other one there. Would you like a new home? Now I know I have an anteater that's been waiting to get into a habitat. And I just saw this one over there and I thought, yes, you can be the other one. Let's see what we've got. You are a mealworm giant anteater and you're a female. Right, let me go and get the other one that I know I've got. I found Gertrude upstairs in my house. I have no idea who named her, brought her here, put her up there and left her here. But I put her in a chest waiting for a habitat and I was determined to put her in when I made one. There you go, Gertrude. You look the same. Let's have a look. Whoops a daisy. You are a harvester. And you a mealworm giant auntie. So you're not the same. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is to put a border on here. And I'm going to use glass, ordinary glass. I did think I'd use the exhibit glass, but it's it's on the edge, and so I would have a lot of trouble going round these corners. So I thought vanilla glass would be the way to go. I've just had to make some more because it will have to be two level layers of glass because I don't like this white edging on your eye line. So I'm raising it up so you don't have to cope with that when you're trying to see what the anteaters are getting up to. And I think they're quite at home in there. I think they're okay. Thought it might be a little bit too small, but I think it's okay for two anteaters. So we need another name for an anteater. We've already got Gertrude, so something to go nicely with Gertrude. We also have seven banded penguins to name. I have a name for one of them. That's Rainbow and Demonic suggested that name um, just after we did the tour. So if you want to see his zoo, do have a look at the last episode. But I think that's got to be it for this episode. I quite enjoyed that. It was a small, much smaller than I've been doing of late, but I've really enjoyed doing it. Now, next week, I want to get back into my ravine. And if you remember, I've already got sheep and pigs in there. And what I'd like to do, something a little bit more exotic. So I think it's going to be either parrots or the llamas. So let me know what you'd like me to work on next in the comments below. So do take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.